Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. I think today I'm going to be doing a day in the life vlog. I really wanted to take you through my day because I've set aside today. Today is Sunday, by the way. I've set aside today to um, do both kind of like a reset day and also a relax day, a bit of a self-care moment. So I'm so excited because, oh my goodness, I cannot tell you how badly I need today. <laughs> First of all, to just prepare for my week. I've pretty much cleaned my house, so we don't need to do a lot of that, which is nice. And I have been doing a lot of like cleaning and organizing in some of my past videos, which you guys have seemed to like, so thank you. But I don't have too much cleaning today. Um, I wanted to make room for just some me time, like I've said. So I'm very excited. I actually had a really slow morning. It's 10.30 in the morning right now, but, um, and I slept in a little bit too. I didn't get up until like seven. Took Olive out and everything, and I've pretty much just been having my tea and reading since then. And it's honestly been the nicest morning ever. I especially love flipping through plant books or gardening books in the morning when I'm having my tea. So this is one that I've just started. I actually got this for Christmas, um, and I'm loving this so much. I'm so excited that I've finally been looking through it. So it's a gardening book with a zero waste twist, as you can see. And there's actually a lot of good information. Right now I'm in a section where it's talking about like um, storing food and it has like recipes for sauces and just how to keep everything that you're growing and, you know, be able to utilize it all. So I'm loving this so much and I'm excited to read more. I have so much to learn about gardening. So yeah, very helpful. And then last night, I also started a new book, and oh my goodness, okay, so this is Carrie Soto is Back, which is Taylor Jenkins' newest release. I think it came out last year in 2022. I also got this for Christmas, um, and you guys, okay, I'm only 52 pages in, but this is so good. It's written, like, the writing is just, like, oh my goodness, it's so good. I didn't have my tabs when I was reading this last night, and I didn't want to get out of bed to get them, but I think I'm going to go back in and just, like, tab the sections and you know like the quotes that I really like in this but oh my goodness I did not expect to be so gripped by uh tennis a book about tennis but yeah wow if you've been watching my vlogs you know that I read Daisy Jones and the Six not too long ago and it did not hit for me I did not love it so I'm glad that this is kind of redeeming Taylor Jenkins read for me so that's kind of been the vibe for this morning which has just been yeah so lovely the plan for the rest of my day is I'm gonna get ready right now. I wanna make, I wanna do some meal planning and then go grocery shopping so that I'm prepared for the week. And then we're gonna do some more reading. I'm really in a reading mood today. Um, and I also want to cook a nice dinner cause I haven't, I just like haven't been cooking that much lately because I've been so busy. Um, and then what else are we gonna do? Water some plants. Yeah, it's just gonna be, it's gonna be a great day. So I'm really excited. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that y'all enjoy this video. And I think I'm actually gonna make a smoothie before I hop in the shower so I can drink that as I'm getting ready. Okay, this is day four hair, which honestly, it doesn't look awful and it looked really good up until today. Like I didn't have to do anything to it yesterday or anything, but it's getting a little greasy today. So I'm just gonna use some dry shampoo. And 
and then I just kind of work it in. I'm gonna brush out my bangs too. I'm not gonna restyle it or anything, I'm just gonna leave it because I think it's still fine, honestly. I love just styling my hair like once every five days and then it's, you know, Actually, I can probably even get away with another day, like tomorrow. I probably won't wash it until Tuesday. So it's almost a week, which is pretty good. And then I'm not using heat on my hair very often either. Okay, now I'm just gonna go in with the Gloss Me Hair Serum, just because I find that it can start looking a little dull with the dry shampoo and everything. So I'm just gonna put that on my ends, just a little bit. There, then that's so much better and I barely had to do anything, so it's perfect. I actually really prefer my hair when it's like days like two to three are the best. Today's day four, like I said, so it's not, it's not bad. But like the first day I do it, when I do the waves, it's just like way too, I don't know, it's just too much. Um, it looks fine, but it's just, I like it so much more when it's just kind of like more chill and once it's like fallen and everything, so. Yeah, that's it. That's all I'm doing. Now I've got to get dressed, brush my teeth, and then we'll do some meal planning. Okay, I've got my cookbooks that I'm going to flip through. These are the three that I have really been gravitating towards lately, so I'm going to go through those. But first, I'm going to talk about today's sponsor. Yes, we have a sponsor for this channel. I'm so excited, and not just any sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Casetify, who I love. If you've been following me for a while, then you may already know that I love Casetify. I've purchased their products myself in the past. I have several phone cases from them. Um, the screen protector on my phone is also from them. I'm just, I'm a big fan. If you haven't heard of Casetify before, they are the world's most popular tech accessory brand. They're known for their very, very protective phone cases and also for the wide variety of designs that they offer. They collaborate with a lot of artists, which is amazing. They also work really hard to have a limited impact on the environment which I really appreciate and I'm gonna be talking a little bit more about that. So this is my current phone case and not only is it so cute, but it's one of their bounce cases. So I know that my phone is going to be super, super safe while wearing this Case Defy case. What's even cooler though, is that this case is a product of their Recase Defy program. It's a closed loop system. So they use old phone cases, manufacturer scraps and plant-based bioplastics in order to create brand new cases, which is amazing. And they're branching out the program to include more of their products as well. So for example, my watch band for my Apple watch, which like how cute. I thought that this was perfect for spring. I need to change my watch face to purple or green so that it matches, but this is also part of the program. So this is made of recycled materials as well. Oh yeah, my cute phone charm is also from Case Defy and I'm obsessed. Um, I think it's called the Magic Forest style and it has like little green mushrooms and yeah, it's very like earthy and cute. With the Recase Defy products, there's no compromise on the protection that it offers. So Case Defy has a bunch of different types of cases you can opt for um, and they offer up to 21.3 feet in drop protection. So you can drop this from like, you know, pretty freaking high and your phone is gonna be okay which also kind of lends to the sustainability thing. Like the, the longer we can use our items, the better. And they have over 2000 different designs and customizations that you can choose from. So there's gonna be something for everybody. So if you're in the market, I honestly could not suggest Case Defy more. I love them so much. And my phone is always going to be wearing a Case Defy case. I will have a link down below in the description box that will give you a discount, so don't forget to click that. Thank you so much, Casetify, for sponsoring this video. Okay, so like I said, now we are gonna check out some of my cookbooks. So the first one I'm gonna be looking through is my Minimalist Baker Everyday Cooking. This is a staple cookbook for me because the recipes in here are delicious, but they're also like fairly straightforward and fairly easy, and a lot of them are, I believe, 10 ingredients or less. Um, or like one pot ingredients, um, 30 minutes or less, like it's all labeled up here um, on each recipe. So I really love that. And then the next one, this one is relatively, I mean, it's not new. I've had it for quite a while now, but um, like several months at least, but I haven't made a ton from it. I've made a few recipes from it and they've turned out really good. Um, so I'm still kind of exploring this one, but yeah, I like to look through it. It's the Hot for Food by Lauren Toyota. Yeah, she's Canadian as well, which is really cool. 
And then one of my all-time favorites, Nisha, who is Rainbow Plant Life on YouTube. One of my absolute favorite vegan cooking YouTube channels. Highly recommend checking her out. Um, I will say, so this is her Instant Pot cookbook. So I don't have an Instant Pot, but I have a Ninja Foodie, which is basically the same thing. It's a pressure cooker slash like air fryer. Um, so her recipes are absolutely amazing, but they do require a little bit more work. So just putting that out there, I think it's 100% worth it, but I'm not always wanting to put in the extra time or the extra effort or like pick up more obscure ingredients. I mean, I don't think that they're over the top, but it's just, it's going to require a little bit more like planning and effort than a recipe from the minimalist baker one. Anyways, this, these are the three that I've really been loving lately. I do also have my Plants Only Kitchen by Gaz Oakley, who is avant-garde vegan on YouTube. I love his recipes as well, but he's kind of similar to Rainbow Plant Life in the sense that they're a little bit, like he's a chef. So, you know, they're a little bit fancier, a little bit more complicated, 100% worth it, but not recipes I'm gonna be making like every single week type of thing. I mean, some of them are, some of them are very simple, but that's my little spiel on my recipe books, I love cookbooks. I have to restrain myself from buying more because I feel like I haven't like fully utilized the ones that I have. So I'm trying to try out more recipes from them and then maybe eventually I can sneak another cookbook into my collection. So I'm just gonna take some time to flip through these. I like to plan everything before I go to the grocery store. I need to like have my list and everything figured out. I have no idea what I'm wanting to make. I wanna make things that are yummy, but also low effort. Um, so I think I'm gonna be gravitating towards the Minimalist Baker cookbook. Um, yeah, like I said, I've just been so busy and I do wanna be cooking meals, but I don't want that to be like consuming all my time. So yeah, let's take a look. Okay, I've picked out some recipes. The first one is a breakfast item. It's Eggs Benny, which looks delicious, but I'm gonna be adding in tofu. I don't know why she doesn't have tofu on this one. She just has it topped with tomato, avocado, and onion. Um, but I'm gonna add tofu to mine to make it more filling and more like a traditional Eggs Benny. Um, I think I'm actually gonna make that today because that just sounds so good. Even though I'm gonna be making this around supper time, I just, that's what I want, so that's what I'm gonna have. And then I also picked out a soup. Oh, right here. This creamy broccoli and cheddar soup. Look how delicious that looks. I've never made this recipe. I've actually, I haven't made the Eggs Benny. I haven't made this, so I'm excited to be trying out some new things, but yeah, delicious. I think I'm gonna make that tomorrow. And then I'm also gonna be having this house salad, which is just like a pretty straightforward salad, but the dressing is really good and um there's dill on this as well which i love i made this a couple weeks ago and it was delicious so i'm gonna be making that again and then i'm also gonna make a caesar salad the kale caesar salad oh right here look at that baby oh my goodness i love caesar salad so yeah had to put that on the list and then the last thing that i picked from here was a burrito bowl oh right here so I think I'm gonna make this on Tuesday, but yeah, yummy. It's gonna be so good. So I have my grocery list ready. Actually, I just need to add a couple things because I have a few notes on my fridge of things I need to pick up. So I'm just going to make sure my list is all ready. And I forgot when I was making my little schedule for today, for some reason I didn't schedule in walking Olive, which is weird because that's always like, I always put that on my, when I'm like time blocking on my Google calendar. So I'm gonna take her before um, I go grocery shopping right now. She's under here. <laughs> Hello. Oh, there's a tummy there. There's a tummy there. Where's my little girl? Where's my girl? Hello. Is there a girl in here? Oh. Oh, there she is. Hi, beautiful. Oh, you look comfy. 
You look comfy. My queen. Mm. Yeah. Also, I got this new cute little strawberry tattoo exactly a week ago now from today. So it's still healing. It's kind of like dry and weird, like peeling still. But I'm obsessed with it. It's literally so cute. And it fills in this like gap on my arm pretty perfectly. So yeah, I love it so much. And some people actually noticed it in a video that I posted last week, which is so crazy, just like how observant people are. I mean, I understand because I'm very observant as well. And I feel like that comes from being an introvert. Um, I've always just been very observant of like what people, like what's going on and what people are doing, what people are saying and um, pick up on little things like that. But yeah, I was very impressed that people noticed it and it wasn't even very visible in the video either. So yeah, I thought I would just point it out in this video. I love it so much. I love strawberries. Anything strawberries, it just gives me like such happy, cute little garden vibes. So yeah, obsessed. I just started listening to Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Alderton the other day. So I'm gonna continue to listen to this on my walk. I just realized my phone is literally almost dead though. So I think I'm gonna charge it for a few minutes before we leave. Okay, I have made it back home. I've got all of the groceries behind me because I'm gonna show you what I got. It was a zoo there in the grocery store and in the parking lot. I swear it's like the Wild West around here, especially on the weekends. I should know better than going to the grocery store at 2 p.m. on a Sunday. Um, that's my bad. I seem to continuously make this mistake and never learn my lesson. But I got in, got out in reasonable time, and yeah, I got all the ingredients for the meals I'm making this week, and I'll show you what I got. Okay, starting over here, I had to stock up on salsa, also I was out of soy sauce. Um, I got some frozen items, a butternut squash. I need this for... I actually can't remember what I need this for right now, but I know I need cubed butternut squash, and I didn't want to cut one up, so I just bought the frozen um bag and then i also got just frozen peas and carrots uh, strawberries for smoothies and oat milk i've been making my own milk um mostly almond milk for the past few weeks now but i figured i would pick one up just i'm almost out of mine and i don't know just to give me a little bit of a break from making my own i do like making my own though it's really good and then I got some apples, a green pepper. I treated myself to some Zevia, how delicious, ginger ale kind. Um, some cilantro, I think that's for my burrito bowl. Kale for the Caesar salad, lime, lemons, some new sponges, romaine hearts, that's for my, I just dropped a lime. That's for my other salad that I'm gonna be making. Avocado, gonna be using that tonight for my bennies. Um, also picked up some grape tomatoes, blackberries, and strawberries. Um, a couple more of my vegan Macs because it just makes like a nice quick little lunch or something. Granola bars, these are the ones I've been liking lately. Some chips for when I make my burrito bowls. Red onions, broccoli for my broccoli cheddar soup. And I realized that I still have half a can of coconut milk in the fridge that I want to use up. So I'm probably going to make my coconut ramen soup at some point this week too. So I can put some of my broccoli in that. And also I got mushrooms for that. And then I just stocked up on some of my udon noodles. I hate wasting like half a can of something, you know, especially coconut milk. It's pretty expensive. So I want to try to use that up this week. Um, I was out of nutritional yeast, grabbed some of that, some chai, garlic hummus, um, some butter, cinnamon raisin bagels, yummy. Honestly, I could go for one of these right now. And then just carrots, some frozen corn, tomatoes, and tofu. I got an extra firm and a medium firm. I think I'm going to use the medium firm for... Um, my Benny, and also for my ramen soup if I make that. I think that that would be really good. And then I got the extra firm just for whatever else. I was thinking I would maybe fry some and put it on top of my kale salad or even the other salad too, that would be good. I love just air frying it with a little bit of garlic powder, cayenne pepper, onion powder, and just a little bit of oil. It comes out so delicious. 
So yeah, that's everything I got. I'm going to go ahead and put it away now. And then I'm going to sit and read my book for a couple more hours. I'm going to have a snack too. I don't know if I'm going to have a bagel or I might just have cereal. Oh my gosh, I forgot to show you my treat. Where is it? <gasps> Here it is. I am so excited to eat this. It is ice cream, as you can see, Ben and Jerry's, the non-dairy one. And this is like a cookie dough with caramel and chocolate and peanut butter chunks. Like... Are you kidding me? I've never had this kind, but I'm very excited to have that later. making myself a cup of chai and it's just steeping right now so I've been sitting here fiddling around changing the color of my watch faces to match my new band so I changed them to purple to match and it looks so cute I don't usually have it on that one but it has like my timer so I use it when I'm cooking a lot um that is my weather one this one is my workout slash activity one and then this is just like a plain one for if I just don't want anything displaying on here except for a clock. But yeah, how cute is that? I'm obsessed. It's so much more fun than just my plain black band. Like I said, I'm just waiting on my tea. Um, I was just catching up on my Discord chat a little bit, which is always fun. And now I think I'm going to make a nice cozy nest on the bed because I've put aside about two hours to just relax and read and I'm so excited to get back into the books that I was showing you earlier. I feel like I never just set aside time specifically to relax um, or to just like do whatever I want to do. It's like I'm either scheduled like working on something or just doing something that needs to be done, you know, or I'm procrastinating and those are my two modes. And I could be reading a book while I'm procrastinating or I could be scrolling on my phone or whatever, but it's not really relaxing. Like I don't feel fully relaxed because you have like the weight of your responsibilities still pressing down on you because you're supposed to be doing something else, but you are procrastinating and doing other things. So I'm trying to make more of an effort to intentionally put time aside to just relax and do what I want to do for me. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And I feel really good about it because I've gotten things done today. You know, I got the groceries and everything. So kind of accomplishing some things makes me even more likely to just like be able to be present and just, yeah, just have some me time, I guess. So I'm really happy about that. And I just want, you know, I want it to be a cozy little moment. So I'm going to make my nest. I'm going to bring my pillow from my bed actually. Oh, and I've got all of here too. Wait, can you see her? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna sit with me, I'm sure. She always comes into the nest when I've got one going, huh? I need to change my bedding after too because I have my old bedding on, which I don't like as much as my, you guys know I'm obsessed with my like pink and red <laughs> bedding. Um, but I changed it to my old bedding after I got my tattoo because if you have tattoos, then you know that they can be kind of like gross for a little while. So I didn't want that like getting on my nice sheets or anything. I brought two pillows out because we're going for maximum, maximum comfort. Oh my gosh, and the sun is even coming out a little bit right now too. How nice. It's been, it's actually cold out today. It's been pretty cold and rainy. I literally can't believe the sun is choosing to come out for my relaxation time. That is just so nice. It'll probably go away, but maybe it'll stay. That would be amazing. Oh, it's already going away. I can see the sky and it's actually there's some blue there's a lot of clouds but there's some blue she was she's a little bit anxious today um on our walk she oh did you hear that she just wanted to come back and she was just acting really anxious and i'm not really sure why 
She is really scared of bugs, like any flying, especially buzzing insects. So I feel like in the spring, being outside, her anxiety gets really ramped up. So I don't know if that's what's going on. I don't know if that's what's going on, honey. Anyways, I'll put the camera away because I know she doesn't like that either. Okay, look at the setup. So we've got my tea, and then I'm also having some chips, and there's salsa in there. It is heat level hot. I really like spicy foods. I never buy like the hot salsa though, I always get medium. So we'll see how that goes. And then of course I've got my books right here. I think I'm gonna jump back into this gardening one because that's what I'm feeling right now. Oh, Olive got a new toy that's a watering can and she's obsessed with it. Okay, we're in full swing here. It's actually really easy to make. The sauce is pretty much done. I just need to pop it in the blender and blend it real quick. Um, and then I just need to slice everything, like all my toppings and everything, which really isn't that much. It's just tomato, avocado, red onion. And I'm gonna use that pan, once I transfer the sauce into the blender, I'm gonna use that pan to just heat up a couple of tofu slices that I'm gonna season probably with garlic powder, onion powder, and a little bit of black salt. And then I'm gonna put everything together. I have my English muffins here. They're actually frozen, so they're kind of like thawing right now. And that sauce makes enough for eight servings, which is really nice because I can have it for breakfast for the next couple days as well. Okay, I just cleaned up the kitchen and everything, did all the dishes, and I'm supposed to water plants still tonight, but it's 8.10, and I'm trying to get back onto an early bed, early rising schedule, because lately I've been getting up between like 6 and 7, and I want to get back to getting up at 5, because I don't know, that's just, that's just how I function best, I'm a morning person. So... I think I'm gonna save the plant watering until tomorrow. So hopefully they'll be fine until then. I know that the plants in the cabinet are thirsty and also the plants in my bedroom, but I'm just, I'm tired. I wanna get ready for bed. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go around and turn off some of the grow lights now. And then I'm gonna take Olive out and then I'm going to wash up and get ready for bed. everyone it is the next day and I just wanted to say that I did indeed get my plant watering done um, I'm just having my tea and watering my plants early in the morning and it's really nice um, and they're doing so well if you saw my main channel um, my video about redoing this cabinet yeah just a little update that they are absolutely loving it um, 
I've got new growth coming in on a lot of them. Look at this new gigas leaf. Like how beautiful is that? Yeah, they seem really happy. And I also put my Calathea in the cabinet as well. And he looks like he's doing really great. So yeah, I'm just obsessed with all of these plants. They're looking so good lately. Like look at that Miranda. Are you kidding me? It's so nice. And we have some new growth starting on my Hoya chicken farm. A new vine has shot out. That's a really slow growing Hoya, so it doesn't happen very often. My beautiful Anthurium. Oh yeah, and I also wanted to say that I'm still absolutely loving this book. It's so good. I'm now up to 106. So yeah, really, really liking this one. And I'm just so glad about that because I have not had a five-star fiction read yet this year, which is crazy. I think I've read nine books so far this year, and the only one that I've given four or five stars was a nonfiction called cultish which is really good it's about cults and the language and like techniques that they use but not just about what you would think of as like traditional cults also kind of like everyday things like gyms you know like soul cycle and even like brands like lululemon and um things that have like a cult following or like use like a specific language and like mlms it was it was a really interesting book so i gave that one five stars but um yeah, I think that this might end up being a five-star read, and I'm so excited. Anyways, that's my little update. I'm going to be ending the vlog here. I'm just about to start some editing, and just I'm just going to be working all day. So thank you so much for joining me yesterday for that lovely day. I felt like I really needed that, and I feel, I don't know, I just feel so much better today and ready to tackle my week after just having a little bit of relaxation and doing my meal planning and yeah, I'm feeling good. So let me know if you like this video, hope you did. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also a huge thank you to Casetify for sponsoring this video. I really, really appreciate that. And yeah, I love them so much. So don't forget to check them out. The link will be down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.